So, the top 25 in college football, another week has passed, and we finally have the committee's rankings, and it looks like there are some changes. Well, there was going to be change with six top 25 teams lost. But the top six stayed the same, Alabama, Notre Dame, Clemson, Ohio State, Texas a and and then Florida. It's where we get the number seven is where the changes start to begin. Number seven is now Iowa State. Iowa State is number seven now with two losses, one of them being to the number 19 team in the country, Louisiana. We figured the Coastal BYU game would have some implications. Coastal Carolina is on the outside looking in at, at, at the highest group of five spot where they'll go to a game. I don't know what game it will be yet. Um, but yeah, they, they, they're at number 13. BYU dropped to number 18, so you will see BYU in action. So now Missouri, Georgia is a ranked matchup. Georgia also moved down a spot. They shouldn't even be in the top 10 in the first place, but they are. Uh, Miami's at 10, Oklahoma 11, Indiana 12. That's where really not much change happened because of the top 12. It was where everything else lied. Now Northwestern's still at 14. They will most likely face Indiana, who is number 12. In, in the Big Ten Championship, but there could be some changes. Oh, there could be some changes because of the game being lost. Ohio State, Michigan not getting played. Texas A&M can't play Ole Miss. Cincinnati can't play Tulsa twice. They can only play them once in the conference championship game, and it's looking like Cincinnati will host Tulsa in that game. USC is up at 15. Colorado's in the rankings for the Pac-12. That's that's a good sign. Um, I was still in at 16, so there there's, could be something there. North Carolina is at 17. Miami at 10. Big matchup this week for those two teams. Could be you know a big time bowl game on the line. Apparently, I mean I don't I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna pay attention to bowl tie-ins until we get to that point. Really, I only think of the top 12 as getting, as thinking, you know, top 12 teams should be getting, you know, bowl invites, you know, for the big time bowls, and everybody else can get the other ones. That's not the point here. But yeah, my Longhorns are back in at 20. I don't know if, again, I don't know if we're going to play Kansas this week or not, but we probably should. Hopefully, maybe. Then we can fire Tom Herman. Oklahoma State's still in the rankings somehow, and North Carolina State's in the rankings at 8-3. and three. I don't know how they're in the rankings, but there they are. They're in there. Um, yeah, so there we go. Top 25 right there. Honestly, I don't know what in the world the committee's thinking. Put a guy with State at 7. They have a loss to a top 25 team. I don't get it. I don't know why Georgia's in the top 10 either. They, they they lost to a top. They lost to Georgia's Georgia's losses are to the two best teams they played. That's it. That's it for Georgia. They lost bad to Alabama and they lost bad to Florida. Don't give me that. Oh well, they were tied. They had the lead with Alabama. No, they got blown out. You knew Alabama's talent was going to get the best of Georgia. You knew Florida's talent was going to get the best of Georgia. Absolutely disgusting that both Iowa State and Georgia, you know, are, you know, where they are. I don't think Iowa State should have moved ahead of Cincinnati, but whatever. It's whatever right now. I don't get it. I really don't get it. That's okay. It's perfectly fine. So there we go. Top 25. Honestly, Coastal Carolina and Indiana should be in the top 10, but it's okay. It's okay. It is a okay. Oklahoma lost to two bad teams, you know, or rather they lost to one bad team, and then they lost to the only other team that, 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 that's ahead of them, you know, an Iowa State. I don't get it. Whatever. That's the, that's the, that's the top 25 this week, everybody.